So now I'm back at Hama International Airport and ready for tonight's A380 flight to Bangkok. This is pretty cool, riding a monorail inside a building from one end to the other end of the terminal. This is new, right? Yeah. It's like a new, like a soup inside the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this stuff. I still remember when I was a kid, we watched these VHS tapes and cassettes. Look at this picture, 1958, Soup Wakif. So here I am boarding the 380, a little bit ahead of all the passengers because I want to document how the crew are preparing for the flight before everyone boards. Mr. Sam, you're welcome on board today. Uh, we're doing a flight to Bangkok. Flight time will be around five hours and 45 minutes. We'll be cruising at around 39,000 feet as the highest. We do not expect turbulence. However, if it gets bumpy, please take your seats, put your seat belts on and take care of yourselves and the passengers. If you think anything could affect the safety of the flight, do not hesitate. Call us at any time and we'll give you our full support. Sure. Um, it's going to be a standard taxi time, 15 minutes or less, so give us your best from your side. I know that you have a full house today, but uh, do you have any specials? We have one expecting for cabin view share in economy class, that's all. And we have for one business class for children, Samsung 16 in economy, and also one infant in premium cabin, that's all. We just had a briefing with all the crews. How many crew tonight? Operating? We have 25 crew. 25 crew. Yes. So, Wachara, show me what do you do exactly before right. the passenger arrive? Right. right. You're preparing. We are here for the hospitalities, but basically we are here to um, save for your safety. So basically, when we come on board, we do our safety checks and security search. So make sure not uh, no prohibited items on board and not authorized people on board as well. So you can follow me in the cabin. So basically, after we done our checks, we are present, uh, present the cabin preparation for customer before customer boarding. So the how we present it, we have the, our pillows, uh, personal blanket, amenity kits, and personal headphones. This is the entire cabin of economy, which has 461 customer on board. I'm going to take you through upper deck, which is we have premium economy in upper deck as well. So this is the upper deck economy, however, behind the scenes, we do have catering on board as well. We have to check our toilets as well, make sure it's no probate item inside. Inside the compartment or below the trash compact, uh, I mean the trash bin as well. So this is quite unique on the Qatar Airways 380. There's a small section of the economy upper deck, but they have to board from downstairs and walk from the rear staircase to come upstairs. So now the passengers are coming one by one. Behind me now, the two crew are preparing the ground service, which is for premium customer. Another thing that we do it on board, we assist the customer to put the bags in overhead bins. When the overhead bins are full, we are actually going to be close that. But we have to also make sure that the bags is fitted properly. This is the premium uh, galley that we are calling galley or the kitchen that we are preparing the premium customer food on board. Behind me is a first class galley, right? Oh. Behind me now we have eight uh, uh, first class suite which is in front of the, the aircraft over here which is behind me. This is the end of the aircraft of the premium uh, cabins which is end up with the changing room which is facilitate for first class customer. Yeah, we know this toilet. Right. This is huge, right? Let's come <laughs> yeah. have a look. Let's go inside, have a look. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, all customers have now boarded the aircraft, and this aircraft is now ready to departure to Bangkok, Thailand. This have a ground start to this about the aircraft. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, very good evening to our captain speaking. My name is Fatma Gerwood. I'm sharing the cockpit today with my colleague Rodrigo. I'd like to welcome you all on board on behalf of the crew of uh, Qatari Flight 834 from Hamad International Airport in Doha, Qatar to Bangkok uh, in uh, Thailand. The flight time today will be around uh, 5 hours and 45 minutes, cruising at a highest altitude of 39,000 feet. For your safety, please keep the seat belts on even if the seat belt signs are switched off. 
just in case we go through unexpected turbulence in the flight. I'd like to thank you all for choosing Qatar Airways today. It's a pleasure to have you on board and wish you all a pleasant flight. Upper deck, forward left, right, sending car staff. Upper deck, yala one, any ground staff. Upper deck, yala two, any ground staff. Yala three, any ground staff. All right, confirm no ground staff on board, thank you. Copy that, thank you. Captain, may I ask, everything's all good? Yes. May I ask permission to close the door? I still have a cargo door open. Let me just confirm that everything's okay open. and then yeah, sure. No ground staff on board, I check already. Emergency briefing. Any malfunction between 0 and 100 will stop for any relevant reason. Between 100 and V1, it's master caution, master warning, flight controls, engines, or when shear, for the safety of the flight. The call will be stopped or closed thrust levers. Use max reverse. Max auto brake and if required manual braking. And once we come to a complete stop, I'll stow the reverses, set the park and brake on, and do the P8 entry to course station. Your actions? Okay, I will just wonder your reactions, acceleration, and once the aircraft stop, I will call the ATC that we have rejected the takeoff, and uh, I will wait for your command to start any ECAM actions or any abnormal procedure using the checklist or the QRH. Just finished the 43. Good day again, thank you. Taxi hold short of Charlie. Taxi hold short of Charlie, Qatar 834. Okay, short of Charlie. Right is clear. Charlie, stop the three plus one. Right side is clear. The clear. Thank you, ma'am. Lights on. Five Cross three, thank you, morning. Qatar 827 Juliet, contact tower 118.525. Good day. Contact tower 118.525. Good day. Good day. Good morning, Qatar 834. Super. Ready for departure in sequence, we can do Alpha 181. Qatar A3 for taxi, can plan for Alpha, taxi Alpha holding point 34 right. Alpha holding point 34 right, Qatar A34. Take off review, please. I have a 34 right now, it's full length. Qatar 976, I'm at 34 right, it's section Alpha 1. Take off when 3, 1, 3 degrees. Break RTO climb now, 4,152. Dash is dash is 4,000, and backs on flex. So basically no changes. Cabin. Secured and signal. Take off runway. 3-4 right, full length. 3-4 right, full length. Back 1 and 2. Backs on. Checklist completed. Line up and wait behind. Checked. And departing Airbus A380, line up with 3-4 right via Alpha behind. We have 380 departing via line up behind the way via Alpha 3-4 right. Qatari, 4 4 coming. Qatar A34 and A34 right by Alpha K take off wind 3, 2, 30 degrees, 1, 3 knots, A1 frequency, 124, decimal 775. Qatar A34, uh, Super Cooper, take off runway 34 right, once airborne 124, 775. Qatar A34, thank you, buddy. Ready? 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 SRS runway, auto trust blue. Checked. Thrust set. Cavalry 652, taxi Alpha 2, holding point 34 right. Continue holding point Alpha 2, 34 right, Cavalry 652. Walk on our notes. Checked. Continue approach, number 3 for right, Alpha 5 and left on Bravo, and 9 Rotate. Good morning, I fly 1342, holding for Charlie, Alpha 1. Alpha 1342, how many good morning, taxi full length, Alpha holding for 3 for right. Positive line. Kira. Right, I fly 1342, Kira. 
No. Check. If you have experienced more than three hours in flight delay, flight cancellation, or denied boarding, you could get up to 600 euros in compensation by EU regulation EC261 with Skycop for flight delay more than three hours. And if this was the airline's fault, such as operational issues or technical issues, you could get compensated depends on your flight distance. The same compensation also apply if your flight is canceled within 14 days of departure dates or if you got bummed off from an oversold flight you can go to skycop to claim for compensation in a simple free step process the good news is there is a promotion right now if you know anyone whose travel is disrupted encourage them to submit a claim on skycop once approved both yourself and your friend will receive a 50 euros mastercard gift card this video is sponsored by skycop we are now at uh, 37,000 feet, or what we say is flight level 370, and we're cruising at decimal 83, Mark 83. We departed from Doha, took off about 15 minutes ago, and uh, expected to reach Bangkok in around uh, five hours from now. In the beginning, uh, I'd like to say that it's a pleasure to have you here with us. Um, I'll give you a small uh, peek of our operation. What we do basically is we meet each other in the uh, in the dispatch. From there, we come to the airplane, and then we introduce ourselves to our crew, and we give them some details about the flight time and flight level, uh, if weather is expected or turbulence is expected. We also take some information from the crew, as um, if there's any uh, special passengers or special loads that we have uh, that we might need to know about. Then we come here and we check first the status of the aircraft, if there's any defects. Uh, and uh, today we had a little minor defects before departure. And that's why we were having a conversation with the engineer to clarify the situation. And after clearing that up, we were on our way. What we do basically is we insert the information about the flight plan. Basically it's the route, the performance, and what we're gonna decide to do. Like, from the beginning of the flight until the end. We check everything together. And we're always two, because we always need someone to cross-check the information. I come from an, an aviation family. Uh, my uncle actually was the first Bahraini pilot. And uh, I was always fascinated by airplanes. And I decided to be a pilot when I was five. Yeah, it was that early. But eventually I was so lucky to get a chance to, to study what I like. And then I joined Qatar Airways as a second officer. And as well, I was blessed to fly the 330 in the beginning of my career. I was a second officer on 330. And then uh, I flew the 380 as well as a first officer. Then I got my command on 320. Flew that for another, for five years approximately. And I'm very glad now to be back flying the four engines. at flight level 370. Right now we're over the continent of India and we just passed this waypoint here. We still have another three hours for landing in, in Bangkok. Sunrise just broke up and yeah, that's it. That's it, we buy for four zone and then we roll in the cabin. And then the other customer, the one who wake up, who want to have for breakfast, who want to use the washroom, and that's it. Wow. 
I will conduct mini brief to my crew to prepare and plan what the next service we're gonna deliver to the customer. Actually, overnight flight, we have to do the uh, wake up drink for the customer. And we divide for four zones, walk in the cabin, using for the food trays, put the drink is there. And then the wake up the customer before landing into Bangkok. Since inside the cabin, all the customers are still sleeping, but now we prepare for the service and the service is ready. I will adjust the lighting system right here. You see on here, you will see the lighting system. And now you will see all decks here, upper deck, which is only for the first class, business class. And next one, the main deck is here. It will show only for economy class for the first and the aft. Back to upper deck once again, you see first business lounge and this one. Normally first class is personalized service. We don't bother them. We go one by one to the customer to wait the customer. Business class is a relax now, which is for breakfast. It's here. And now we go and check the lighting system is there. We still missing the button here. Yeah. <laughs> missing. Basically, um, here in the galley, we have the galley operator and also the galley assist. So basically, we will divide the job here. Galley manager, she will prepare all the food and she will plate all the food for a customer in the cabin. And then when the crew they came over here, they will call out. We call, call out for the food here. So now I'm prepared for cappuccino for one customer now. Hi, welcome to the secret place for the cabin crew on Airbus A380. This is we call the Kubang. Follow me. This is when we go down, we go the back, turn the back side like this, and hold the handrails when you go back here. So now we are in the secret place for the cabin crew on Airbus A380. This is a crew bunk. It looks like this. Normally we provide two pillows here, and also we have the lighting here. We have the air vents for that one. Next, I'm gonna tell you about how many crew bunk we have on Airbus A380, which is we have total 12. One up, one down right here. And for the supervisor, officially, it's gonna be here. Why supervisor here? Because next to the in the phone. This one, and also we usually went for ultra long haul flight. For example, we fly to Australia, to Sydney, to Perth. All right, I know that you want to know what it is. This is a crew changing rooms when they came for the rest change remove the uniform and then put the pyjama tits here soon we'll start our descent to Bangkok the gradual descent is starting in around 10 to 15 minutes there's the arrow to descend we expect to land in uh, the next 45 minutes from now in Bangkok and for now, the arrival runway is the northern runway, the western side. Usually, most of the time, Qatar Airways parks in this part of the airport. So we expect to land, vacate on the right side, and then as per the ATC, we'll taxi the aircraft to the designated stand. Now, we expect some good weather in Bangkok today. It's clear skies, uh, winds are easterly winds, about 10 knots, and uh, nice weather generally, that's it. One, two, five, one, zero, four. All right. So tell me this one. Start with big bottle of water. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Small you don't have. Sparkling you don't have. Ah, small I have. We will summarize what we have left from this flight to let another supervisor who take over the aircraft to know that how many we have. For example, here the big bottle of water, still waters, sparkling water, and all the rest of the drinks and juices that we have. 
and also how many we need to uplift from here. This is after the fly we call cabin discrepancy lock. If there is any defect, and then we have to lock here to let the captain know, and then the engineer will come and fix it. But if cannot fix it, they're gonna move to CDD cabin defect lock book. That one, which is engineer have to fix when the aircraft back to Doha. Nah, Welcome to Thailand. Come and come see you later. Have a good day. Come and come. Together on the YouTube soon. Thank there, you. Sam Tree Channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Come and come. Have a good day. Welcome to my country. Have a good day. Thanks, Lord. Have a good day. Come and come. Thank you. Enjoy your vacation here. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, Lord. Have a good day. So thank you. The flight number registration from where to where from Doha to Bangkok here. And also now I finished the flights already. So entertainment system need to be off. Yeah. And we check everything, but the music needs to be up also after our customer disembark. Everything down. Now, and now I'm gonna lock out. Close the flight. And okay. A34 is landed to Bangkok. Thank you very much for flying with us, Qatar Airways. See you next time. Hasta luego. Fiamanallah, my salam.